lecture, we'll delve into the details of the right-hand driving rules, different types of roads and their specification, and road marking in Germany. Our goal is to equip you with comprehensive knowledge, covering the right-hand driving rule, interpreting lane markings, mastering highway driving, and fostering a sense of responsibility to ensure safe and effective road use. By exploring the extensive German road network, understanding its vastness, and acknowledging the importance of well-defined regulations for responsible road usage. The Autobahn, Germany's renowned highway system, is famous for its stretches without speed limits. These express routes, also known as Kraftfahrstrassen, form a crucial part of the country's road network. The Autobahn Polizei, or Motorway Police, ensures safety on these high-speed highways. Currently, cars enjoy toll-free travel, but heavy goods vehicles pay a per kilometer fee, collected electronically. Keep an eye out for this distinctive blue road sign as you cruise through the German Autobahn. To navigate the Autobahns, understanding speed limits and traffic management is crucial. Advisory speed limits of 130 km per hour for general traffic and 80 km per hour for HGVs and other specific vehicles guide your journey. In road work sections, advisory limits may drop to 60 km per hour, and caution prevails in hazardous weather. Electronic monitoring and warning signs keep you informed, while hazard lights and traffic jams enhance safety. There are emergency telephones every 1.5 to 3 km. You can also use the hard shoulder in exceptional circumstances. There are readily available motorway services to ensure a secure journey. The hard shoulder of a road is essentially a reserved lane, usually on the extreme right or left side, separated from the main carriageway by a solid line. Highways demand constant concentration and awareness of lanes. These guidelines highlight the specific regulations for highway usage. Only vehicles registered for speeds above 60 km per hour are permitted on highways. Prohibitions, including no stopping, parking, turning, or reversing, contribute to the smooth flow of traffic. The emphasis on constant concentration and lane awareness underscores the heightened responsibility and focus required when navigating on highways. And form the backbone of the country's road network. With a generally wider width and multiple lanes, they ensure smoother traffic flow, especially crucial for long-distance travel. The speed limit varies, and you might encounter stretches without any speed limit, offering flexibility in your journey. These roads play a crucial role in connecting smaller towns and regions, forming an essential network that complements the broader reach of federal roads. With a moderate width and generally two lanes, they cater to regional traffic, and their speed limits are typically posted, ranging from moderate to lower speeds. Beyond the autobahns, understanding speed limits on main trunk roads is essential. Dual carriageways with speed limits ensure safe travel at 100 km per hour for cars, 80 km per hour for cars with trailers and lighter lorries slash trucks, and 60 km per hour for heavier HGVs. In built-up areas, the speed limit is 50 km per hour, rising to 100 km per hour outside towns. Moving closer to home. We explore district roads and residential roads. District roads form the lifelines connecting districts and smaller localities. These roads have varying widths adapted to local traffic needs, with usually single lanes each way. Residential roads serve the communities. Dual carriageways with speed limits ensure safe travel at 100 km per hour for cars, 80 km per hour for cars with trailers and lighter lorries slash trucks, and 60 km per hour for heavier HGVs. In built-up areas, the speed limit is 50 km per hour, rising to 100 km per hour outside towns. Special zones like residential areas and areas for children have specific speed restrictions, creating a safe and mindful driving environment. Firstly, a street encompasses the entirety of the traffic area. This includes the roadway, which serves as the main driving surface, the lanes that dictate the flow of traffic, the shoulder providing additional space, and any special paths designated for specific purposes like bicycles or pedestrians. Now, when we focus on a lane, we're looking at a specific portion of the road designed for unobstructed driving. This area is typically marked by lane markings, providing visual guidance for drivers and contributing to the overall organization of traffic.
Moving on to the roadway, this term refers to the designated lane that your vehicle should occupy. This is particularly important when there's no special path available, and adherence to these guidelines ensures a structured and safe flow of traffic. In summary, understanding these components is crucial for navigating the road effectively and ensuring a harmonious and safe driving experience for everyone. Road markings act as a language. We'll decipher common markings, grasp the importance of guidelines, and understand limitations for smooth traffic flow. The stop line is a critical element of road markings that signifies the point at which drivers are required to come to a complete stop. It is represented by a thick, solid line that spans across the entire width of the lane. When approaching a stop line, drivers must halt their vehicles behind this line, ensuring they come to a standstill before proceeding further. This is a fundamental traffic rule aimed at promoting safety at intersections and ensuring an organized and controlled flow of traffic. The line is a distinctive road marking that indicates a point where drivers must exercise caution and give the right of way to oncoming traffic. It is represented by a thick, broken line that extends across the lane. When approaching a yield line, drivers are required to come to a stop behind this marked line and yield to any priority traffic. This traffic management measure is designed to ensure a smooth and safe flow of vehicles. Especially at intersections where the right of way needs to be granted to other approaching vehicles or pedestrians. A pedestrian crossing is a designated area on the roadway marked by distinctive zebra stripes. This marking is specifically designed to indicate a safe path for pedestrians to cross the road. When approaching a pedestrian crossing, drivers are obligated to yield the right of way to pedestrians. The zebra stripes serve as a visual cue for both drivers and pedestrians, emphasizing the importance of safety and indicating the designated area for crossing. Adherence to this rule contributes to a safer and more pedestrian-friendly road environment, promoting a harmonious interaction between motorists and pedestrians. A restricted zone features diagonal lines, and driving is prohibited within this marked area. Adherence to this rule ensures compliance with traffic regulations and enhances safety within the designated zone. No stopping zone is identified by zigzag lines near the curb, indicating that stopping or parking is strictly prohibited in this designated area. Compliance with this rule is essential for maintaining traffic flow and safety. A curb refers to the raised edge or border, typically made of stone or concrete, along the side of a road or sidewalk. Action arrows on the road surface within your lane are visual indicators that communicate permissible turns. These arrows guide drivers by illustrating the allowed directions, facilitating safe and organized navigation at intersections or decision points on the road. Adherence to these directional cues enhances traffic flow and ensures proper maneuvering on the roadway. Passing is indicated by a solid center line on the road, signaling that overtaking other vehicles is prohibited. Additionally, the long solid line along the side of the roadway serves as the demarcation of the road's edge. This road marking system ensures traffic safety by restricting overtaking maneuvers and defining the boundaries of the roadway. Long broken lines separating traffic lanes indicate that passing is allowed. Shorter broken lines indicate the passing zone is ending. Mopeds can use bike lanes outside built up areas. Children on bikes must use sidewalks until age 8 with the supervisor allowed. Shared pathways require consideration for pedestrians and cyclists. This set of guidelines encourages responsible use of road infrastructure. It advises cyclists to utilize designated bike paths in urban areas and allows mopeds access to bike lanes in non-urban settings. Enter and exit only at marked interchanges. If an exit is missed, proceed to the next exit no turning or reversing on the highway. Mastering freeway access and exits ensures smooth traffic flow. No stopping or parking on highways. Use designated parking areas. Exercise caution for wrongly parked trucks. Designated parking areas enhance overall road safety. Be cautious in construction zones with yellow lane markings. Watch for widened lanes, obstacles, and follow the zipper procedure when changing lanes. Yellow lane markings indicate caution in construction zones. The zipper merge is a traffic flow technique used when two lanes of a roadway are narrowed down to one, usually due to construction or some other obstruction. Instead of drivers merging as soon as they see the lane closure. 
The zipper merge encourages drivers to use both lanes until they reach the point of the lane closure and then take turns merging into the open lane. When it comes to finding an emergency phone along the road using delineators, it's all about staying observant. Delineators are those reflective posts or markers that help guide you, and they can often lead you to emergency services if you know what to look for. Firstly, keep an eye out for any signs or symbols on the delineators that indicate the presence of emergency services or a nearby emergency phone. These signs are usually standardized and easy to recognize. Secondly, consider the spacing of the delineators. Emergency phones are typically strategically placed at regular intervals along the road, so if you notice a pattern in their arrangement, it might lead you in the right direction. If you are unsure, don't hesitate to ask for help. Reach out to local authorities or use your phone to call for assistance. They can provide you with specific information on the location of emergency phones along the road you are traveling. Remember, in emergencies, Staying calm is key. Trust your instincts, follow the markers, and reach out for help.